In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add the Shape Format tab in PowerPoint. This feature is incredibly useful for customizing and designing shapes within your presentation, allowing you to enhance your slides with more precise detailing and creativity. If you're ready, let's get started. First things first, make sure you have PowerPoint open on your computer. It doesn't matter which version you have as long as you're able to follow these instructions. Once you have PowerPoint up and running, you'll want to open the specific presentation you're working on or any presentation you'd like to practice with. You'll find that having your actual work open can make these steps feel more relevant and practical. Next, focus your attention on the top of your screen and look for the File tab. This is where a lot of the program's powerful customization options are hidden. Click on File and you'll see a drop down menu with numerous options. What you're looking for here is an option named Options. This will usually be found near the bottom of the list, so go ahead and click on that. Once you've accessed the Options menu, you're brought to a new window where you can see several categories on the left hand side. In this menu, find and click on the Customize Ribbon option. This area is essentially the heart of how you tailor PowerPoint to suit your needs. You'll notice a drop down menu within the Customize Ribbon section. At this point, it's set to a default view, usually something like Main Tabs. What you'll want to do here is change this to Tool Tabs. Click on it to reveal a list of various options and change it accordingly. Once you've done that, the list should reload automatically. And depending on the speed of your computer, it may take a few seconds. So just be a little patient. Now that the list is fully loaded, you're looking for the Shape Format option. This might require some scrolling depending on how many other tabs and tools are available to you. Once you find it, click on it and then you'll see an Add button, which when clicked will move the Shape Format tab into your workspace. After you've added it, you must confirm your changes by clicking OK. This saves everything you've just done. And that's it! You should now see the Shape Format tab in your toolbar, ready for you to begin using the enhanced shape formatting features available. Hopefully these steps have helped you successfully add the Shape Format tab to your PowerPoint. This tab opens up a range of possibilities for shape editing and personalization in your presentations. Thanks for tuning in and if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to check out more of our guides to help make your PowerPoint presentations stand out. Happy presenting!